up Pizza Holics. Behind me is a place called Campania, right up the block from my house here in Staten Island. Had this place numerous times. I remember liking it. I remember liking it. I, I really did. It was coal fired. Coal fired pizzas nowadays in Staten Island are rare. So this place was my go to joint for a while, but I haven't had it in like a year. So let's go see how it is. My, my palate is a little more refined now. Let's go eat. All right, so I forgot my microphone for this video. Pardon the audio quality, it should be okay. I'm in the car, but I got my AC running. It's hot here in New York. Really hot, but never too hot to eat pizza, guys. Is it ever too hot to eat pizza? Never, I don't care if it's 90 degrees, I want hot pizza. And I got me some hot pizza, coal-fired hot pizza. That's right, guys, coal-fired. We're in Staten Island. Staten Island's got a couple of coal-fired joints, believe it or not. Not many of you know about Staten Island. People sleep on Staten Island. As a matter of fact, Campania is one of four locations, three on Staten Island, and there's one location in Brooklyn. Well, you know what? If you're gonna, if you were to ask me, borough by borough, best pizza, Brooklyn first, Manhattan second, Staten Island third. That's right, ahead of Queens and the Bronx. Hey, that's what I think. Anyways, guys, let's not waste any time. The AC is running. I don't want this pizza to get cool. Let's grab one and let's give out a score. I got it half sausage and half blue cheese crumbles. Uh, you probably can't see the sausage, but there it is. Sausage, guys. Sausage. That's how eats. That's how eats. That's how they say it in Sicily. And I got the, the, the margarita over here going. That's what we review on this channel, guys. The plain. The sausage, that's for me later. So, you know, throw myself a curveball a little reset the palate with a little different cheese and some sausage let's go baby campania campania means country but not not as in like nation it means the country the upstate the rural places you know what i mean that's what this place is named after campania they used to say i'm in the campania and uh andiamo a mangiare looking good guys no flop i like the pliability on the bend it did it was it didn't like crack in half or anything it seems like a really good crust not really coal oven char that doesn't really roll around too well out here you know the cold char in new york city doesn't sit well with a lot of people you'd be surprised they, they, some places might even say yeah we don't make it well done because that doesn't go so well over here and uh you know the places here got to be careful with their char because a lot of people are very that's how people are here what do you want me to tell you salute here's the good health for 2021 the rest of 2021 mm. no crisp on the first bite it's not flopping but no crisp on the first bite now there is a slight crisp the chew is delicate. It's not it's not a pasty crust. You know, when you chew it and it, it gets pasty. Really buttery, good buttery bread for the crust. It's just not airy, it's just chewy. Not as balanced as I'd like it. Now guys, if you notice my last couple of videos, two crunch tests. One is the crisp factor, which was always, you know, I always did that. One is the crisp factor. I always I always did that on this channel. I measure the crisp from first bite to middle to the back end of the pizza. Now I do crunch level, the level of the crunch. You know, the pizza's crispy in different levels. Some crisp, some are crispier than others, right? So uh, I got two scales now. There's crisp, but it's a very subtle crisp. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, into the lab we go. Time to dissect and analyze this pretty looking pizza before us, guys. It's a pretty looking pie. That's what I call a New York style, coal fire style margarita. Now, I'm not sure if the oven is gas assisted. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, they got coal fired stuff written all over. They got coal fired written all over the windows, coal fired on the storefront over the windows. So, uh, and it's, yeah, look, hey, 
if you would have told me this was cold fired, I'd believe it in a heartbeat based on the char on this thing. Uh, now, you know, uh, I mentioned the lack of char on the bottom, but if you would have told me this was a cold fired pie, I'd believe it because even though it's not, uh, you know, the undercarriage wasn't too charred, there is some char along the edges, guys, along the cotton charner, which uh, I wouldn't even call it. I wouldn't even call it a cotonichone, guys. I would not even call it a cotonichone. Now, uh, the crust was pretty pliable, which is what I love, baby. I love me a pliable crust. A little softness in the middle, crunchy on the outside. The problem is it wasn't airy enough. It was all chew. But the chew was nice and delicate. Uh, never got too pasty, like I mentioned before. Sauce, very silky, silky sauce, and probably the worst part about the pie. I got a hint of sourness, maybe some citric acid. I don't know what causes that. The, the sauce was a tad on the sour side, but it also has some good flavor, if that makes sense. It, it wasn't bland. It wasn't just, uh, it's not overly pasty. A little on the dark side, but I don't think there's paste in this sauce. Again, not reading off an ingredients list, just uh, uh, based on my perception, guys. I'm sorry to say, but I like my sauce a little runny. And not just runny, guys. I love it. Chunky and pulpy. And uh, this one is on the silkier side. Very bright. Very bright. Uh, good flavor, but uh, a little bit of that sourness detected, which does throw me off. And it's end-to-end, -end, man. Even distribution. Good cheese-to-sauce ratio. You know, they don't just put a little bit of cheese on there. And the cheese is pretty good so far. The pizza cooled down. Milk content. Milk content evident. Look at that. It's not plasticky. That's some fresh mozzarella, I love, baby. And, you know, I was watching the Santillo podcast yesterday with Nino Canillo. Santillo said that in the cheap cheese, they inject it with oil. They Well, he said fillers. I'm assuming oil. He said this greasy stuff. They extend the cheese, their inventory, the bulk, by filling the cheap cheeses with oil. So that's why I say greasy pizza is cheap, cheesy, greasy, guys. And look at that Parmesan cheese, baby. You know how much I love me some sprinkled Parmesan on my pizza. That's right. You know how much I love cold fire bubbles on my pizza. You think that's enough grated cheese, baby? It's not exactly L&B carpet bombing, but it's there. It's there. And you get a little bit of that sharp kick from that grated cheese. And I love that. I like salty stuff, sausage. I'm a salty, you know, I like salt. I'm from the Mediterranean. Over there, they put salt on their cereal. All right, guys, the pizza gets cold. We give it another fold. That is right. That's what we do on this channel. We test it for loss of crisp, loss of texture, loss of crunch. Uh, this is uh, flopping this time. And, you know, with Neapolitans and with coal-fired pizzas, uh, you got to eat them hot. You got to eat these pizzas hot. The Neapolitans, too, and the coal-fired pizzas, because then they get really chewy. So, uh... All right, guys, so what do we got here? What do we got? We got a good pizza. We got a pretty, really... We got a really good pizza. Look at this one, guys. This one's not flopping as much. And it's a little more charred. So, uh, we got to... You know, we got to look at the other slices, guys. Not bad. Uh, I, I already made up my mind with this pizza. I already made it up. I know what it is. I know where it stands in the uh, in the list of pizzas. In the list of Antonio's pizzas. That's right, guys. This one is knocking on the eighth door. Like, no one's answering. You know what I mean? 7-9, guys. 7-9 for Campania. I was very impressed. But the sauce was a little sour. I like it a little more runny. Good cheese. Crust, not the most balanced crust where it was... Uh, it reminded me of Giuliana. It's a little chewy. You got to eat it fast, which is the case with a lot of cold, uh, cold oven pizzas. But there are some pizzas that just, you know, they, they, they're they airy and, they're, they, they, and they have a nice, delicate chew. And uh, this one wasn't as balanced. So, uh, but there was some significant exterior crunch, but the crunch level, uh, crunch, but the crunch level was uh, not too high on the crunch level scale. So, uh for that reason, folks, 7-9, come on down, highly recommend it, coal-fired. It's a gorgeous place inside. A little fancy, good prices, with a little bit of a sports bar vibe going. Campania, country. Be well, guys, hit that like, smash that subscribe button, if you haven't already. 
totally recommend this joint guys stay cool out there it's hot never too hot to eat pizza until next time this is antonio signing off Thank <laughs> you.